Hi everyone, it's Jen on the go. Today I am doing a very quick ship ride along video because I am moving and this is my very last week of living in Massachusetts. And I wanted to do one last ship run before I move. In case you don't know, and many of you do, I live in Western Massachusetts and I'm moving to the Orlando area next week. Hence is why you see all of these boxes in the back. I'm really so excited about it, but I'm also a little nervous about it as well. New England has been my home and a great home at that. I've loved living here, but it's time to move on. So onward and upward I go. So I'm getting all of my last minute New England things in, including this shipped video. Before I start ship shopping though, I want to give a special shout out to my niece, Hazel, who actually just turned 11 and watches my videos. She told me she really enjoys watching me shop for shipped and at Target. So hi Hazel, happy belated birthday. I love you so much. This video I'm dedicating to you. If you're interested in watching me do my very last shipped orders in Massachusetts, stay with me because this is what we're doing today. Okay, let's go. I put myself on the shipped schedule last night in the app beginning at 9 a.m. for this morning and here I am. It is 10 after 9 and so far this is all that I am seeing. As you can see, these payment amounts are pretty low. However, let's peek over at Instacart and compare them, shall we? Oh wait, here you go. Here's what's showing up on Instacart. Absolutely nothing. You can see my rating is still at a five star because I haven't been able to shop in months on the Instacart platform because I just can't bring myself to take one of these orders that is so incredibly exploitative. I realized that on the shipped platform, the customers are not prompted to tip in the app, only post delivery. And while I really do love shopping at Target for shipped, it is a pretty huge con on this app because you are gambling with whether a customer is going to tip or not. On Instacart, if you're not getting a tip pre-delivery, you can absolutely bank on not getting a tip post-delivery. So because I am on such a time crunch and I want to take one last shipped order, I have to be done pretty early today because I have about five days to get packed and get everything shipped so I can get ready to move. So let's go ahead and look at these orders. I'm going to take the best one I can with probably the lowest miles with the hopes that I will get tipped post delivery. Let me start looking for what order I'm going to take. I am at Target ready to do my first order. I just took something, I think it was only 10 items, $12 payout. Am I getting that right? I'll put the screenshot here when I can find it. But yeah, I just got here. I'm going to start shopping a little early and grab what I can. Okay, but first there is a lot of hype around this Stony Clover line, which apparently sells out pretty quickly. If you watch TikTok, then you know, people are running to grab all of this stuff. I don't really get it. Um, a lot of rainbow and pastel stuff it's kind of cute it's cute stuff but uh, this is pretty well stocked so if anyone needs some stony clover and you're in Holyoke okay one more thing before I start shopping see these pants so cute I actually bought these in pink I cannot wait to wear them I love these I didn't try them on though so I hope they work if you are a veteran shipped shopper then you already know this one of the great benefits of shopping on ship the aisles in the app are labeled and it tells you exactly where to go. For instance, this first item here, I'll put it right here, is located in aisle A22. Here is A22 and then here is the item. Most often they are pretty accurate. So here is this item. I'm going to grab it. The customer requested this French vanilla almond granola. And as you can see, this one is so finely smashed up. And if I were a customer, I wouldn't want this one. I'd say, oh, bummer. So let me look through here to get the best one. And here's one. You can kind of see the difference between messed up and perfectly intact. So I'm going to get this one. It's the little things that make the hugest difference. Okay, doing pretty well. We have one more item left to grab, which is the Cozy Shack rice pudding and let me do a quick spin to see if I can find it. I'm kind of surprised that they did have every item so far because it's early in the morning and sometimes they don't stock till later in the day. So where would I find Cozy Shack pudding? Oh wait, let me look at the aisle number. Okay, the app said G4, but as you can see there's G1, then it goes to G2. Man, what the heck is G4? Then it skips to G12. So obviously it's somewhere in the dairy department. So let me go hunt down the Cozy Shack pudding. Maybe they don't have it. I'm gonna have to ask someone, but I don't even see regular pudding. Okay, hold on. Let me figure this out. Found the Cozy Shack. Don't forget to check the expiration dates as well on all of your dairy items and produce. 
Okay, yay, all done with that order. Nothing to this one at all. They had every single item. So I love when that happens. Here I am getting distracted by everything at Target. Um, I can't wait to move and you know decorate and start over that'll be fun but right now i just have to stay focused and get this order delivered but first i'm going to send an i'm on my way text okay i am back in the car and i am ready to go get this order dropped off it is raining and disgusting out but that's okay let's get going <music> drop off it is Mount Holyoke College I am at a dorm right here behind me unfortunately I cannot get in there are three doors I've been pushing buzzers pushing buttons and I can't get a hold of anybody so this is kind of a problem I've been waiting out here for 10 minutes and this is called party foul as you can see here's where I am it's a huge college campus and I am at a dorm I've been sending texts to this customer I'm going to try to call her to see if she can come down and get the door um, but clearly maybe she's sleeping. I don't know, but I'm over it. It's raining and let me get out of here. Okay, now I am just aggravated. It's been 10 minutes. I've called her twice, left her a few text messages. I'm going to maybe try one more door, knock on the door, bang on the door loudly to see if I could find her. And if I can't, um, I'm gonna call Shipt. And the great thing about Shipt is they will answer the phone and I can speak to somebody who will throw the ball back. I wish you could see this on a beautiful sunny day. This is a beautiful campus, Mount Holyoke, but um, I cannot believe that no one is meeting me with their grocery order. You know what I'm saying? I'm standing in the rain. Here I am griping. It is pretty here, but my gosh, this is so aggravating. Okay, that was frustrating. This isn't my first time delivering to a college campus. As you can see, I was texting her, letting her know I was here. I called her and she wasn't responding. She finally did and said, can you just leave them outside the door? I hated to do that because this is a dorm and kids are coming and going maybe. And what if somebody else takes her groceries? But I did what she told me to do and I took photographs. Um, so yeah, that is all I can do. I did park a little ways away and spied until she came to the door and somebody did come and get the groceries. I'm assuming it was her, right? What are the odds that she is going to tip me? I'm not so optimistic about this one, but I will keep you updated and let you know. So mission accomplished, that order is dropped off and uh, that was way too stressful. I wasn't feeling this drop off at all. She knew I was coming. Come on, if you're going to use these apps, be responsive and do the right thing. Drop off should never ever be this difficult, but sometimes they are. So I'll keep you posted if I get a tip. But again, a college student, although this is a pretty prestigious university, so we'll see. Um, if she doesn't tip, I'm gonna be irritated because I stood out here in the rain and had to call her a bunch of times, but whatever. This is the gamble we take, I guess. Talk to you soon with an update. Hey, I am back and it's been a few hours since I dropped off that order. I have some good news and some bad news. Let's start with the good news. It stopped raining and it turned out to be such a beautiful day. The bad news, you guessed it. This customer left me a zero tip. One big fat goose egg. This order paid out a total of $12.22. I ended up driving about eight miles to the drop off. Here's the thing, I take full responsibility for selecting this order with that eight mile drop off. I did though select this order with the hope that this customer would tip, but this is not the case. It's not happening or it hasn't happened yet. And from my personal experience, usually the shipped customers will tip pretty immediate upon receiving their groceries, especially if they've been communicative. As you guys saw, I dropped off this customer's groceries in the rain, had a really hard time finding her. I ended up going to about four different doors in the rain before she finally said you can drop them at one specific door, which I did, but that took way too long. And it's incredibly frustrating when customers do not communicate with you when you are trying to deliver their items. Oh my goodness, I delivered that order for $12.22, drove eight miles, and did not receive a tip. 
It is frustrating. I went above and beyond with my service and my communication as I do with every single customer. And then this happens. Stood in the rain, awaited all of the things that we do. And I even ended up calling this customer because I just wanted to be sure she received her groceries. I was so friendly. I'm like, hey, this is Jen. Just wanna make sure you got your groceries. It's raining so hard. It was so fun shopping for you. Oh my gosh, why did I even go hard? Because I got nothing. I got no tip at all. And again, I want to be clear, I really do enjoy shopping for the shipped platform. However, taking a gamble on whether a customer is going to tip or not, oh man, that is almost a deal breaker for me. Customers who choose to use these luxury services, whether it's Instacart, whether it's shipped, DoorDash, Uber Eats, I don't care what it is, if they are using these platforms, they should be tipping. If they don't choose to tip, they should not be serviced. I feel so strongly about this. This college student who I delivered to sure did get her Cheez-Its and her strawberries and her rice pudding, yet has the audacity to not tip. Here I go ranting because I'm fired up. What is wrong with customers who don't tip? It is rude, it is ignorant, and it is so out of touch. And if a customer doesn't tip, they don't deserve to be serviced, period. This college student who I delivered her groceries to couldn't have even tipped 10%, a dollar, two dollars, nothing. Wow, shame on her. I would be embarrassed. So because I am moving, packing, organizing, shipping boxes and trying to get everything buttoned up on this end, I just have to be done shipped shopping for today. I would have loved though to continue to see if the next customers would have tipped. So even though this customer who is a college student, an adult and should know better, did not think I was worthy enough to receive a tip, I had fun shopping at Target at least. I always do. I have to go now because I have more boxes to ship. I am definitely not giving up on the shipped platform, even though the no tipping up front is a bummer. When I get to Orlando and get settled in, I'm really excited to pick up shipped again and possibly deliver to some of the Disney resorts. I think that would be fun. Thank you all so much for watching this video. The next time I see you, I will actually be living in Orlando. Definitely a little weird, a little scary, bittersweet, and also exciting. Oh, and a special goodbye to Hazel. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next video.